Now turning to 12 Response, a 74-year-old woman reached out to us wanting to share her story about how she fell victim to a scam. That scam cost her hundreds of dollars. 12 News reporter Sarah Gernelli has the story. A woman we spoke with says she thought she was applying for a federal grant but had to pay money up front in gift cards first. You ain't getting another dime, honey. No more. 74 year old Rosemary Dumas says she unknowingly paid scammers $1,000 in gift cards up front in order to get a federal grant to help pay down some of her bills. But when she asked where her grant money was, her alarm bell started going off. Just recently they said that they had sent it and it would be here in 24 hours. Well, in the meantime, Supposedly, ATF stopped the FedEx truck. They had hid the money on the truck. The person on the other end told her the truck with her money on it was damaged while being stopped by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, and she had to pay for it to be fixed before she could get the hundreds of thousands of dollars promised. Now they're telling me that my money's still on the truck. The FedEx driver needs $700 to fix the truck that the ATF trashed. And then she realized she had been swindled. Somewhere along the line, I figured they're going to be screwing me somehow. Westerly detective Anthony Alicio says his department has had a lot of people fall victims to scams. But at least weekly, there's some types of scams going on. He says one red flag is if someone is asking for money through gift cards. But once you purchase a gift card, at any, any local store would have them, Walmart, Stop and Shop, CVS, wherever. You're paying for that, usually cash or whatever, and then you're scratching off a PIN number and giving it to that person. They're immediately cashing those funds in. He also says keep an eye out for people buying gift cards at stores. You see an elderly person coming to the cash register with multiple $500 or, or high increment gift cards, ask them what it's for. You know, if they're not giving them out as gifts, then there's something else going on. And, you know, we should be called. Dumas says she reached out to us because she doesn't want other people to be taken advantage of. Everybody's being scammed somehow or another. If it could help somebody else, I've decided to go this way. And police say oftentimes when people pay in gift cards, it's impossible to get that money back. If you or someone you know thinks they may have been scammed, it's important to contact your local police department. In Westerly, Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.